Percy is kind of getting a knack for that kind of stuff. He's had a couple uh, big hits, you know, early in the season. Uh, you know, he uh, he can take some funny swings throughout the course of a game, and uh, very animated up there in the batter's box. But he's an emotional guy, and um, you know, even that at bat, and the swings weren't particularly good early on, and you know, he got a mistake and he ended the game. So I, I'm trying to decide if I want to. Pinch run for him or pinch hit for Kurt or, you know, he only had one player really to use. So he, he kind of took care of that for me. But it was a, it was a hard-fought game. It was, you know, a little chilly for sure. Um, after yesterday's very, very challenging loss to bounce back, um, some of the pitchers stepped up who I know didn't have a lot, but they, they, they went out there and pitched for us. And uh, we were able to find a way to win a game. So a um, good way to start the homestand. R.C. had just said to us that even throughout that at bat, he knew his swings were a little too wild, and then he had to shorten it a little bit. Did you see him adjust? Well, I, I, I mean, that last you week? know, I'm standing next to Brunaski over there, and he could, every time he takes one of those uh, out of control swings, you know, Bruno's yelling at him, and you, you can see him stepping out of the box trying to regroup. Um, I think he's learning, uh, you know, the the short, compact swing. The ball still goes a long way. It's just. He gets a little emotional in that box sometimes, and he gets out, outside of himself. But, um, you know, that was just a classic two-strike, put a good swing on it, and the ball went out of the ballpark. How big was some of the two-out hitting in the fifth when you guys first got rolling? Well, you know, uh, we got the ball call and, and uh, another runner on base, and, you know, Doe's had was having good at-bats, you know, three ball counts, I think his first two at-bats, and then the third time he got a 3-1 pitch and he was able to hit it in the corner uh, and get us in the game. And Miguel, we told him about Manship, that he just make sure you get the ball up. And, uh, you know, he stayed on a slider and he pushed it out there to right field to give us a lead. Um, you know, we, we gave it back. Um, Gomes hit, hit the home run. You know, it's a little bit deflating. You're trying to hang on to a win, and you know your pitching's a little bit thin, but, you know, we were able, you know, to, for him to get out of the inning and get Brantley out in his first at bat, and then, uh, you know, Jeffs gave me a scoreless inning before we went ahead and got the game winner. It's a lot about the bullpen, Paul, to be able to kind of come back the way they did and just I mean, uh, keep grinding well, it out. I mean, you know, we we're, we're sitting here looking at the game and you try to figure out how you're going to get through it the best way you can. We know that we had Alex out there as far as length, but I didn't want to have to go to him with the game being as tight as it was, and we were getting deep enough to where, you know, I started thinking about him being the guy that was going to have to pitch if we went in the extra innings and um, so yeah I don't quite no question we've got to give those guys, those guys credit for being able to you know, stay with the game and give us a chance. Tommy was so sharp all spring and he's kind of uh, gotten into this sloppy pattern now uh, once the season Yeah you know it, it's he's holding the, the, the numbers down for the most part he's had a couple innings where it's gotten away in his starts but you know you you know, you're in the fifth inning. He's only, you know, two runs. But you know, pitches were up there, and I was looking at matchups, and uh, you know, I was going to take my chance there, bringing the right, right, right-hander in to face uh, uh, their right-handed hitter. So you know, we got out of that inning, and then we just kind of had to go with the bullpen from there. But it was Tommy. You know, it's he, he never misses by a lot. You know, he's he's just kind of right around the corners, but um, the pitches get up there. Uh, I wasn't going to pitch Casey today. Molly, well, you mentioned there might have to be some roster flexibility. Do you anticipate anything tonight or before tomorrow's game? Uh, possibly tomorrow, but uh, nothing that we can really announce or or. Well, I've talked to Terry after the game already. We're, we've got a couple of things possibly in the mix. 